How are you doing? How are you feeling? Um, I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Obviously, it's a bit of a quiet one back here, so it's just me and you talking, but how do you feel that fight went for you? Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I got the win. I know there's still a lot of things to work on. Um, you know, I heard my coaches yelling a lot of things, and if I was doing everything right, right they wouldn't be yelling. But um, So there's always stuff to work on, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of myself for, you know, picking myself up from where I was and getting the win. Well, that's the most important thing, being proud of yourself. Like, any victory, even if you're not super impressed with your performance is important right the victory is what we're here for so are you always this hard on yourself after a fight i think so uh, i'm i tend to be kind of a perfectionist and um you know even when i win even when i do a lot of right things i'm always like oh well i should have done this or i could have done this better or i could have got the finish so i would say oh, i am do you think that's something that you need to do to help yourself improve do you think if you ever stop feeling that way you'll start maybe slacking off or not holding yourself accountable for certain mistakes? Um, I think it's a, it's a double-edged sword. Um, it's something that always keeps you motivated, but sometimes you can be um, your hardest critic. Yeah, do you ever give yourself a day off and actually praise yourself sometimes? Uh, I'm, I'm learning to do that. I'm working with a mental coach and we're working on those things. You, you mentioned you heard the coaches shouting and that if, they, if you're doing everything right, they wouldn't be shouting. What exactly were they, what feedback were they giving you? Um, you know, just to, to improve my position a lot of times or, or to pass the guard and, um, you know, just improved a better position. But, you know, I felt really secure where I was and I was like, uh, you know, her hips are a little slippery. I feel like if I start to move, you know, I may lose the position. Um, whereas I should have just believed in my ability, listened to my coaches and passed. But obviously, if you're in the middle of that fight and, and you know, sometimes it's position is the most important thing, right? So if you don't feel super confident in advancing, it makes sense to sit there, no? Yeah, sometimes. Obviously, you said you heard the coaches shouting. Is that what was it like fighting in that sort of arena? Um, you know, I've I really like it. Um, you know, with, I've, I haven't had to fight in, in front of a large crowd since I started in the UFC. Um, I kind of like the you know the small, cozy little um, arena there in the apex without just a ton of people. Is that why? Why is that? Do you just find the 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 crowd noise and everything just a bit? too much that you can't really focus or why is it that you prefer an arena like that? I don't know, I'm kind of an introverted person and so I think just the small small little scene just fits me better. So when you say you're an introverted person, what's media like for you? Um, it's, no offense, but one of the worst parts for me. <laughs> I understand, we're very annoying. <laughs> is, th is that something you think you're gonna have to work on as your career? progresses? Yeah, it's, um, you know, always a work in progress. It's something that I've really had to work on just throughout my career. And I know that it's um, getting to the next level, it's going to be even more so. So it's just, like I said, a work in progress, something that continually has to evolve. Well, congratulations on a great performance. Don't be too hard on yourself. It was a great <laughs> win. And have a good night celebrating. Thank you. Thank you.